All right, so I want to review our um, options for making our color mixtures. So the easiest ones and the most elementary is you just pick a color and you use the color. So there's no mixing involved in that. That's the lowest level skill that we use. We teach that in kindergarten, first and second grade. Next thing to do is start to use our color mixtures. So we can put one color, a primary, with another primary, mix it, and now you get a secondary color. So this is another elementary skill about third or fourth grade is when we start to teach this kind of a thing. Um, later on in middle school, we start to talk about adding tints and shades. Tints are adding white to a color and shades are adding black to a color. So if I take some of this green and move it over, I can add a little bit of white to it and that creates a tint. Then I can add a little black to it and that's going to create a shade. If I mix both of these together, pull some of the shade over into the tint, I get a tone. So that's adding gray to a color. Okay, so that's another level or layer of coloring that you can add to your uh, color wheel project or color wheel based project. But there's still another one that's even more advanced and we generally start talking about this in high school. So let's say you want to have an area that's going to be mainly blue you want to moderate the color, you want to change it a little bit. You could do a tint, you could do a shade, you could do a tone, but you can also take our, uh, our knowledge from chromatic gray and instead add a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow and mix those all together. So it's mostly blue, but with a little red and a little yellow. And now we've used chroma or color to change that blue. So now we have a new blue. So by adding more or less of your neighboring colors from the color wheel, you can get um, infinitely more tones as well. So you don't have to just add black and white. You can add some of the neighboring colors from the color wheel to get new color mixtures.